Hello, welcome. You're watching Headset VR. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another gaming video. Today we're looking at playing Outwards in VR using a pretty newish VR mod that's been released. And so I'm going to give it a little bit of a testing. But first of all, we're going to show you how you actually get set up and playing of the mod. Now, before you get it all set up and installed, it's quite important to make sure you've got the correct version of the mod. So first of all, obviously, you need Outwards, but you need the Definitive Edition installed onto your PC, as the mod only works on that version. Now, it must also be the mono version. Now, to get the mono version, what you do is right-click on the game in the library, go to Properties, and if you go into the Betas tab, you have the little arrow there where you can change between non and default mono. So obviously you want the default mono, so click on that, I already have it. But that will start a very quick download. Now, when you finish that download, from there we can go about setting up the actual mod itself. Now, the mono version is installed. Now, there is a link in the description for where you get the mod on GitHub. And what you do is go to that link, of course, click on the latest, which is just here, and that will take you to this zip file here, which you download. From there, you want to extract it. Now, I've just extracted it to its current location. Go into it, and again, and then what you need is these five files here. Now, what we need to do, of course, is put it into the correct location. So go back to Steam, and on the game, go to Properties, Go into Local Files, Browse Local Files. So from there, uh, you can see a file called Outward Defend, or Defed, or whatever it's, Defed it says. And double click on that. And what you do then is go to the Files from the Extraction, right click and Copy, and then you can paste them into the file. Now, I've already done this, so it's going to offer me to replace the files. So I'll just say yes, and it shows there the files. As you can see, that I already installed a little bit earlier. But what you need to do is make sure that the, the BepinX folder is in the same directory as the Outward Definitive Edition underscore data file, which is right here and like I mentioned you merge or override any files it asks you to and from there you should be able to set it up in VR. Now the link I've sent you to it does give installation instructions as well so you can have a look on there. It does also show a pretty comprehensive set of controls and how you play it. This was only tested on a Quest 2 and it does mention about the support down here. It's only been tested on a Quest 2 so far with touch controllers but it should work for the VR headsets, but it will not work for the VR controllers unless you add your own controller mapping scheme, as it says there. So from here, we are going to boot the game up and jump into VR. Now, I haven't actually opened Steam VR here. I've just opened the Quest app, well, the Oculus app, because I'm using a Quest 2 headset here linked up to the PC. So let's just hit the play button and off we go. Of course, from there, it'll give you the option play Outward or Definitive Edition. Obviously, you go for the definitive edition. Okay, so the game has loaded up, and there are lots of people. Well, there's a couple of people just lying around, just sitting here, looking a bit weird. So, from here, like I say, I've got touch controllers. We're just going to do a short little snippet of gameplay, just so you can see what it's like. Now, there is a very intuitive tutorial. Now, I'm using the controllers here, and you can see I'm using up and down on the arrow key, although the menu does kind of seem a little bit out of view there. You can actually mess around with that there. And you use, on the stick, I'm using the left stick to go up and down, and the A button to go into settings. And from here, you can use left and right grip to go across the settings. Now, from what I did see, although it is quite far away and it tests your eyesight, I don't believe there are any proper VR settings like comfort or anything like that. If I press B to go back, 
and from here. Now I did start a tutorial and there seemed like there was quite a lot to it so I'm just going to jump into a game and we'll see what happens and how much of a dick I look by failing miserably. Right, first of all we have to make a character but we're not going to call him Jim. Jim you look like a bit of a pleb. Let's choose a female because I always choose females because well I just want to what race we got? Well, you know what? Let's just randomise it until we get one that we like. Uh, well, you know what? That's going to do, I think. Although I might change the hair colour. Yeah, we'll just go with that, I think. Are we still going to call it Jim? Well, probably not, no. We're going to call it Headset. VR, because it wouldn't be headset VR if we did it any other way. So this game does come with six degrees of freedom. And you do also ooh, swing a weapon. Now remember why you always choose a female character. Well, I'm not going to complain about pixelated breasts, are you know. We have got full hand tracking. I can look left. Ooh. I can look right. I can look up. I can look down. And I can put my hands in the air like I just don't care. And I can use my fingers like this. And hey presto, we have a pretty intuitive VR mod. Oh, and the sun's up. With motion controls. Now, I don't believe we have physics that I can actually walk up and grab and pick something up. Although I might be wrong. If you press the B key, it will bring up the menu like this you can go through things like what you're actually wearing what's in your inventory using oh let me just move using the right grip and left grip you can see we go through what we've got equipped or you can use left trigger and right trigger to change through some of your skills or other various menus so there's a lot of stuff in here and it does seem like it's a very impressive mod. But what would be highly impressive is if I could dethrone this gentleman here that's sitting on the floor and pinch all of his clobber. I am led to believe, oh, we have a person over there, that this game can be quite challenging and quite tough to play. So maybe sort of a little bit like Dark Souls, perhaps. I'm not sure how the combat is, but I think... It's the sunshine. I think it's more the case of, oh dear, I've caught a cold, I've got pneumonia and died. Or I've just got myself a cut and it's become infected. And again, I've died. All right, mate. Are some dude hovering over your face? I wonder if they smell or wake. No, anyway, let's not go on, on that. I mean, it all does look pre fairly pretty. Oh, gather clean water. Oh, should we... Um... Let's have a drink. Well, I seem to have drunk it all. Hello! It seems there's a dead dude just there, or is he sleeping? Hi! This game does come with a range of different things that will affect your gameplay. I'm led to believe not only are you affected by the heat and the cold, but also, of course, starvation, thirst, fatigue, and, as I mentioned, infected wounds. So you don't want to get an infected wound. Oh, I'll take this bread. Is that sausage, intestines or rope? Well, I can only see one bed roll here. Oh, there we go. Time to snuggle up. Let's have 17 hours sleep and confirm. Okay, well, I seem to have woken up in a completely different place. Right, let's take all these clothes. Is that toilet paper? They must have had big asses. Now, I must be honest, the movement is maybe a touch on the jittery side. So when I move, it feels a little bit on the fast. Maybe it could do with reducing down some of the sensitivity in the options. So it's not perfect. We could do with the UI stick into a particular place so when I turn my head it doesn't follow that would be pretty helpful maybe the sensitivity of the controls could do with a little bit of fine tuning 
Okay, so I mean this in VR could actually be highly impressive. Highly impressive. Although like I say, it's a fabulous trick to balance a lamp upside down on your hand. Here we go. Alright everyone, how you doing? Rise and shine, oh. trog spawn. You That's think you can nip off for four months and not pay what you owe the tribe? What? What are you on about? A blood price is sacred. You can't just shrug off that responsibility. If I don't see the money from you by the time I count to ten, you'll regret you ever came home. I'm sorry that was the first thing you woke up to. Please forgive them. Many of them have lost family and are not thinking straight. Well, I suppose I'll forgive you. It is raining after all, and that's a lovely eye patch you have. If I could do more, I would. The most I can do for you is declare a mourning period and buy you a little time. For five days, no one in the tribe can ask for what you owe. That gives you a few days to pay back the money. Either gather the money, or earn a tribal favor, and they won't be able to touch you. I can perform magic tricks. Remember, you only have a few days. This May is your five. ancestors watch over you. Puh. Nah, fuck me ancestors. They've left me in this shit. So it seems you've got five days. To gather a load of money? Oh, the rain stopped at least. Otherwise, the townsfolk will savage your face in. It does look, I'll be honest, a pretty pleasant looking town. Right, well, so far, the game looks pretty beautiful. I mean, okay, so it's maybe not the most amazing looking graphics, but they are pretty damn good. You've got six degrees of freedom. Pretty much nearly full hand tracking, but not completely. There's not really the the best physics But hey, you know when I can balance an upside down lantern on my hand then you know what more do you want really? Right so looking around We've got a quaint little village to jump into pay 150 um, silver to Risa within five days or you'll lose your lighthouse Well, you know what? Is that my lighthouse? It looks like a piece of shit, to be honest. Tell you what, why don't you just keep it? It does seem quite interesting. And it does seem like something I'd like to explore a little bit more. And I would like to see what the combat is like in this game. Particularly in VR. But for now, I think I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to have a little bit of a fiddle around because the game is playable on Steam Deck. So I'll have a little bit of a mess around on it tonight and see if we can be... Ooh. Thanks very much. See if we can figure out how to get out of this town. Because we got to get out of this place if it's the last thing we ever do. Anyway. Ooh. It's a big bird. You've been watching Headset VR. This is the VR mod of Outwards. And all I can say is if you've liked what you've seen so far and you found the video helpful, then please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel as well and you'll see more VR related content like this. Other VR set mod setup guides, live streams and general VR tomfoolery. So if you can support the channel, that'd be great. Just hit that subscribe button. You know what to do. Otherwise, if you've got any comments to make about this video or any of the other content that comes out on the channel, then feel free. Every message gets responded to. Unless you're a complete dick, then in which case, it won't get responded to. So, I decided to say thanks very much for watching and we'll see you for the next video. I'm going to go murder this dude who's got a funny lamp on his head.
Okay, maybe I'm not. Anyway, we'll see you soon, folks. Take care. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.